Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Beware of the fall invaders, folks. Ladybugs, stink bugs, box elder beetles. No one wants a house full of bugs. Well, unless you're that weird guy from Silence of the Lambs and he had a lot of problems. You don't want to be like that guy. <laughs> Keep the bugs out of your home. Do what I do. And that's call Southeast Termite and Pest Control and order up the fall invader treatment. You can still do it right now. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, family owned since 1971. And they've been taking care of families all across East Tennessee. If you're seeing this ad, give them a shout. I bet they can cover your area. Southeasttermite.com. Okay, back with, uh, well, let me remind folks about the poll here quickly. Uh, where are we stand? 47% of you, wow, it's taken the head. Eight and four has taken the lead. 47% say eight and four. 30% say nine and three, 19% say seven and five. See, the angriest, ugliest people, the maddest people, they always get there first. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> 10 and two, that's only 4% of you. But go ahead and keep voting. We want to tally that. We had a new record for our voters last week, so keep them coming. All right, uh, no pie in this segment. <laughs> Chuck Marlin and Josh, I just want to ask you, the true or false, Gentry Estes, uh, columnist this week, he wrote a column suggesting that Hendon Hooker had more to do with last year's success than Josh Heupel. Um, true or false, Hooker deserves more credit than Heupel for the 2022 offense. Marlon. False. False. I go false. And I want an explanation. <laughs> Why false? Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. Um, so I would say false because I think Hendon was a great decision maker, but I also think you can throw in there um, Alex Golish in there. You can throw that in there. <laughs> Um, you can also throw in there we had better receivers. Yeah, Jalen Hyatt. Yeah. Jalen Hyatt. So, I would, and then the offensive line was better. So I would say false as far as um, he deserves more credit than Josh Hyde. Yeah, I mean, how much better would this offense been if, if Hooker was back there and you still had some of the problems you're still having? Uh, Dar you don't have Darnell Wright at, at right, right tackle, correct? I mean, and we, we, somebody mentioned him earlier, Princeton fan. I mean, he scored nine touchdowns. You so, mentioned him earlier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty smart discussion. Yeah. But, no, I'm going to say you still have to give Heupel credit just because of the personnel and how would Hooker do as the quarterback of this team. Yeah, I don't think he fixes everything. No, no. no. Josh, what do you think, Heupel, uh, Hooker or Heupel? I kind of look at it in terms of a credit pie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me hit you with the pie chart. <laughs> uh, I, I did think over the last couple of years, these guys aren't going to be that easy to replace. It's not just yeah. plug and play and the results are exactly the same. But I did think, like at wide receiver, okay, maybe it'll be easier yeah. uh, than in a lot of places. So you just bring in Dante Thornton and that hasn't worked out replacing. I didn't expect 15 touchdowns, but um, so Hooker versus Maybe a Heupel. catch. Yeah, may, yeah maybe. <laughs> um, your, your question is Hooker versus Heupel. I, I wouldn't say, yeah, give Hooker more credit than Heupel, but the players, I do think, goals. deserve more credit because the Jimmys and Joes are yeah. always going to matter, especially in the SEC, and that is especially going to be the case on the offensive line. Let me put up some numbers, and then we'll continue the conversation. This is, you know, they, this offense was originally started by Art Bryles. It was called the Veer and Shoot. Whether Heupel calls it that or not, I do not know, but um, – I think we should call it like a Thunder Road offense. Good his own name. <laughs> but anyway, what you see there, that's Josh Heupel as an offensive coordinator with this system. So that goes back to his two years as a coordinator at Missouri, the three years at UCF where he was head coach, and then the three years at Tennessee. Bottom, the, the, the most recent years there at the bottom, those numbers are updated. They're pretty much the worst along the board. He was close in terms of scoring offense that first year at Missouri, which was a 4-8 and eight team. His offense was good. Nothing else there was. Passing offense, this is the worst they've been. Rushing offense is good. Uh, total offense, the only time he's been under 500 was his first year at UT when he took over what was a 3-7 and seven program. 20-yard passes, only 14. 40-yard uh, plays, only 12. All of that's down this year, which tells me <coughs> Hendon Hooker, we saw him at Virginia Tech. He was okay. He wasn't special. He got in Heupel's system. He was special. Yeah. Heupel's been special every single year except this one. Yeah. And I think the thing I've learned is, I don't know that I thought you could just plug in anybody, but I did think you could – yeah, I did. I thought you could plug in anybody. <laughs> I'll just go <laughs> – I think you did. And, and I'm learning that while I still think you can plug in a quarterback, you may be able to plug in – if you've got all the other stuff's good, you can plug in a so-so quarterback. Yeah. If you've got good quarterback, good line, you can plug in a so-so receiver. I don't think you can plug in a bunch of so-so guys, and I think that's what they've got along all, all over the board there. Uh I would tell you that just watch – if you go back and you look at the Alabama game, and I kind of looked at it a little bit more uh, yesterday, um, man, Hyde just ran past me. Yeah, you're going to scheme a guy. Yeah, yeah you're going to scheme a guy, but Hyde could run past you. Yep. And so now when you're talking about Hooker, 
versus Milton, I think Hooker makes better decisions, but at the same quicker, time, quicker. I got a guy running wide open. I, yeah. Now it's just accuracy. Can I hit that guy down the field? Yeah. So I would say, no, nah, I'm going to give more credit to Hypo just because he schemed it up. Um, but then, like you just said, Josh, you, you're missing some big pieces, man, on offense. Milton looks very uncomfortable to me. He always, when he's running, it's like, should I complete this run or should I stop or kind of stutter? It's like, all right, I'm going to throw. No, yeah. Uh, it's like there's little, what do they call them, micro micro movements that you look for mm. in somebody. He's got these little micro things. Yeah. That it's like he's not just fluid. It's not a quick decision. It's out. It's kind of, should I? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, there. And Hooker was the opposite of that, wasn't he? Yes. I mean, yes. He, he looked so comfortable whether it was making a play through the air. Uh, he's probably comfortable knowing I've got Darnell Wright. And, you know, Jerome Carvin was a guy that was really underrated mm, yep. at, at point, left guard right? yeah. uh, who had played a lot of football. And knowing that he was going to have Hyatt do what he did. So it was a perfect combination. I mean, that's why they led the nation in scoring offense, the high yeah. offense with all of those guys. But, I mean, we're talking about a bunch of guys that were in the first three rounds of the NFL draft. That, that is why it was special. Yeah, I think that uh, you may be looking at a thing where we, we go back in hindsight and say, well, that was a magical year. Not in the sense that it was a fluke and they're never going to be good again. His history says his offense is going to be good. That offense was crazy exceptional. Yeah, crazy exceptional. Good. And it That's may it. be he had Hooker, Hyatt, Wright, and Tillman sitting there when he got back. I mean, it was a loaded mm -hmm. team. And I think Nick Saban gave Hooker the ultimate comment about how important he was. He said, we could have the perfect defense called, we could execute yeah. what we're doing, and he could make something out of nothing and be 20 or 30 yards downfield. But we all agree it's false that you give Hooker all the, more no. the credit than Heupel. Yeah, okay. not false. All right, when we come back, is Josh Heupel ready and willing to win with defense? Or is he just Jeremy Pruitt in reverse? I'll explain this. <laughs> I've been waiting for it. We'll see what these other guys haven't given away. Next, come on back. <laughs>